Hello everyone, Aubrey here and welcome back to another build in The Sims 4. This is a build I have actually been talking about for so long now. Um, and it's finally here, I finally done it. So this is the multi-level underground build. Um, I was really inspired by the Sim Supplier when he did this build himself. Uh, not this build, but he did a multi-underground uh, build and I thought that was a really really cool idea so I have spent a lot of time actually drawing this build and you know creating it um, it's not that big of a house you know there's only two bedrooms and really not that much space um, only one bathroom but it's a really really cool looking house at least I think so so I only have two uh, levels on the ground here so we have on the uh, first level we have um, the kitchen, dining room and living room area and on the bottom level we have the two bedrooms, we have a little office area and we have a bathroom and that's kind of it. I mean that's that's what I did. Um, and I also chose quite a small lot but you know that's, that's just the way it is. Uh, I really didn't think I needed a bigger lot so you know why even uh, why even get a bigger lot? But uh, yeah, here I, I was just, uh, you know, on top of the build here, we are gonna have a um, area for your sim to actually sit down and relax and stuff like that. And uh, I was trying here to do like, you know, this little, um, you know, piece where it will kind of let shade go through but I can still have plants on it. I'm actually going to change that in a bit um, from the design that's there now to another design just because I didn't like the way it looked at this point. Um, but I'm definitely going to change that. Also, in the sides here, I decided to have like these little um, holes down, if you can call them that, you know, like kind of like uh, a little space so the light from the uh, outside the natural light could actually go into this build and I also thought that was a really really cool idea um, we have like this really open big open front to the house here uh, where a lot of light actually goes down but I wanted to have some lights um, you know around the other house uh, or not the other house and, and around the other walls as well and I thought there was this was a really really good idea to do that um, and also you get windows into the house which which makes it look a bit more uh, realistic and you know not like you're on the ground which I think is a really really cool idea so um, at the at the uh, the lowest level I actually decided to do a big space uh, where the light goes through um, and I thought that was a really really cool idea, but here you're just seeing me change the style of the uh, I have forgotten what I call those, you know, can we just call them planned hangers, uh, shader thingies? Um, but yeah, I decided to change the style of that to a, a bit more of a symbol uh, style, just putting some fencing around the front here so your sim don't actually fall through. I know they can't do that, but you know, it's it's just like, it gives this level of realism to it. Um, and as I said before, this is not a big house. It, it's really not. It's a rather small house, um, but it really does have everything you need for the house to be functional. I have tested everything. Everything is functional as it is. And uh, we have several gardens around the house. So at the lowest level we have a garden here. I didn't actually do that much down there. They just put in some plants and stuff like that. Um, at the upper garden, you know, the garden uh, that's actually on top of the house. I put in like a little seating area and at the front garden here uh, where where the entrance is I just put you know some different plants and kind of made it look nice. Um, also I didn't want to you know put that much stuff in front of the big windows here just because I think that that is kind of like a really nice feature of the house uh, these big windows and I just think it makes it look so much more 
modern and, you know, a bit more realistic and it, it really brings in a lot of light uh, into the house here. So I was kind of struggling here. I really wanted to have like this brown uh, wooden back wall here, but then I was like a good contrast color to that. And I kind of decided to go with this like white, um, but I changed it and I, uh, I changed it to a really dark red color and I'm going to complement all of the furniture with that red color. So everything goes really, really well together. And this entrance room here, the, you know, where you go into the build, I really do think it is a really cool space. You know, it's a small space. It's very compact and you don't have that much room. Um, but it just looks really, really nice and cozy and really super modern and stuff like that. And I really, really love that. So just putting in some modern furniture here. This is the kind of dining room area. And as you can see on the upper level here, it's one big open floor plan, which I, I really thought was a cool idea as well. Not to, you know... Um, separate every single room um, but just have like one big open floor plan I thought that was a cool idea putting in a lot of knickknacks and you know decorational items and stuff like that not that it's actually uh, the best places to put it but I, I just thought it looked nice I really put a lot of um, heart into this build uh, it's a build I have been wanting to do for so long and I know it's been forever since I actually did a build for you guys. Um, I'm really going to grab myself by the hair and really start doing proper builds again. Um, and really do some uh, proper content here as well. Um, i kind of been neglecting uh, YouTube for a bit. Um, but I'm definitely going to do better now, I promise. But yeah, here the uh, the living room. Um... Not much I can say. I really complimented the uh, like really dark red color in here with like these faded grays, bluish colors as well. I thought that looked really, really cool. And at the front here, as I said, just uh, putting in some decorations here as well, you know, some plants and stuff like that. I really didn't want to cover up the windows too much because, again, I want to have a lot of natural light flowing into the uh, build uh, in daytime, so that was really important for me to have the big windows freed up. Um, and it actually works quite well. A lot of light actually goes into this build, uh, even at night time. Um, you know, the the kind of uh, oh, the kind of light from the upstairs actually goes through to the downstairs so everything is kind of lighted up but at daytime it, it also looks really really awesome um the light kind of goes through the small holes i made for the windows and at the front there's like really really big room so a lot of light just goes into this build and i thought i, I just like that that's really really cool um so this is the big bedroom here uh it's kind of on an art, art angle but um you know <laughs> that's just the way it is and uh, I kind of had a little trouble in here I really didn't know what I wanted to do but I kind of just tried to make it look super modern and you know feel modern so it kind of fit the rest of the house I for some reason always have trouble with these uh, these windows when they are on an angle and you want to put curtains on them it's like they, they don't actually snap onto it and you can't get them to snap correctly onto the window um, or sometimes like here they're just too small for the window uh, which is really really annoying so um, but I, I think I made it work it looks cool the way it is now and uh, just putting in some rocks I removed the big rock just because I didn't think it looked that good I decided to do something with the bathroom here. I decided to actually go with a pre-made bathroom just because I didn't feel like doing a bathroom. And this bathroom here is actually really pretty, but I just complemented with some more paintings and stuff like that. And uh, 
we're going into the last bedroom here, which is a small bedroom, you know, it kind of like a, a guest bedroom or whatever. Uh, but everything in here is fully functional, everything works, and I just kind of went with a blue color to kind of contrast the reddish color in here, and I think it looks really, really cool. Um, for the rest of the space down here, I decided to go with like a little study area. Uh, just put in a desk here with a computer. And I put in an easel, I think. Yeah, there we have it. And uh, just a lot of other stuff. There was some stuff here I haven't actually seen before from the Get Together expansion. But I decided to kind of put a game on the end of that uh, wall there. And put in some rocks just to make it look really nice. Uh, put in a chair and uh, some plants around here. And uh, yeah, let's move outside i just decided to have like these two bamboo trees down here uh so kind of when you go down into the uh to the first floor you kind of see these really beautiful bamboo tree tops and i thought that was a really really cool idea and i tried to blend in the uh the lot with the rest of the you know um the the rest of the island here there's a lot of trees on this island and i decided to put some big trees in the back of this lot just to make it look really really nice and kind of like it's it, it blends in a bit better um and uh yeah what did i do here oh yeah so up here we have like this little space i talked about where we have like a little seating area um there's actually two uh staircases to the what can we call it a porch uh, rooftop porch, I guess it is, technically, um, and I decided to just go with a lot of uh, purple up here, just because I thought that looked the best with the uh, dark colors I've chosen for the house, so that's what I did, and I decided to put in a little fountain thingy in front of the, uh, the um, oh, damn it, green holder thing, uh, so you kind of couldn't go down. Uh, changed the mailbox here to this really nice one. Really, really nice, actually. And, uh, yeah, just the last garden stuff at the lowest garden in this build. Um, yeah, not much I actually did in here. Here we have it. The upstairs with the kitchen, living room, dining room area. I think this looks really, really cool. It was actually really really hard to take pictures here um, in this build just because you couldn't actually use the tab key to actually take pictures because you can't go under uh, the first you know under the uh, floor so it was really hard but I I got some shots in here and it looks really really good otherwise I really hope you enjoyed this build if you did be sure to leave it a big like subscribe and share it with your friends remember you can download this build there is a link in the description down below um, and yeah otherwise I, I don't ha really have anything else to say I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will definitely see you next week for another video, a let's play or a house building video. Have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time for another building video.